ni tekna msangi ya jishinde.com Allow me to introduce the 30 days of AL series in this month of November where I target to post a video a day and I'll try and learn something new every day on AL and that is what I'll post in the videos and there's something that I learned about creating a new container because once you open the PowerShell integrated script editor in Docker, when you select this uh, BC container helper, you can be able to choose uh, the command that you want and a common command which we can be able to search from here is BC container uh, wizard, new BC container, my spellings, container wizard. So the new BC container, when you just select it and click on insert, you can be able to see the new BC container wizard. Okay, why is this command funny funny? You didn't expect that. Let me reselect and insert it again. You select and then insert on this side. BC container helper or under this module, we the BC container helper module which we have selected here because when you select all, you'll have all the modules that are have been installed installed in your PowerShell. So you have the new BC container helper wizard. When you click new, you can be able to generate a file like the one that is already displaying. I will not go through this process. We have done it in another in another video on Docker. I'll close this because yes we need to accept the end user license agreement but i have created this uh, script to generate a container and at times you would like to target a specific version because my challenge or my target as at this time was to target this url this was the version that i wanted version 20.0.37114 and dot uh, 38150 this is the version that I wanted. So the trick here is before running this uh, container, it took me close to a day trying to understand why it didn't run because I had this in the artifact URL, that is the URL that was there. So instead of before running the, this uh, script, verify that this URL gives you a value because that was my big mistake. I did not verify if this artifact url had any val value so as you can see it's not generating any value but if i add select closest i'll have a value for this url this link so if you don't have a link in your url be sure that your script or your container for docker won't be able to create anything and again, the other thing, uh, let me verify like this, select latest. This one will definitely generate a URL. At times you can have the exact version, but at times the, there is no artifact for that specific version number that you have input in your URL. So that's it for this video. That's what I learned, a trick that can really help you save a lot of time while creating docker containers so and again um, i have created a form for feedback because i would really like to help in terms of uh, videos so i have created a google not a microsoft form that you can be able to fill in um of whichever for whichever question that you have about business central so the first question is what you struggled in i have been basing my videos on most of the things that i struggled doing and uh, to help by creating videos on things that i struggled i believe they'll help someone who is uh, struggling with the same thing and again what i wanted to learn at times i create videos on things that i really wanted to learn like docker so i took it like a challenge to create such videos so that is the, the form um, requests you to fill in such information what you like to uh, what you struggled learning and what you like to learn in business central 
and again any remark that you want if you like to have one-on-one um, -on -one support from me directly you can also put in the remarks in the google form any help that you want directly any consultation any support you can be able to input in that um google <laughs> I'm all, I'm, I'm in all Google in the Microsoft form. Okay, that's it for this video. I will see you in day two. That will be November 2nd, 2022 for the day two of 30 days in L. I hope you have learned something from this video. See you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.